For first at five, the sentence is 22 and a half years in prison for Derek Chauvin. Judge uh, Peter Cahill handed down that sentence for K uh, Chauvin's conviction on second degree murder in the death of George Floyd over one year ago. 12 News Anna Farish has local reaction. Anna? Well, Bell, My Mel Byron, Judge Cahill says that he didn't make this decision based on emotion or sympathy or even public opinion. In his words, it was solely based on the abuse of authority and the cruelty shown to Floyd in the last nine minutes of his life. Now, before the sentence came down, the court heard impact statements from both Floyd and Chauvin's family. Chauvin also addressed the court. He gave condolences to the Floyd family and said he hopes that one day Say they could find peace of mind. Now, I spoke with MC law professor Matt Steffi about the statements made today during today's hearing and if he believes this could change accountability for police brutality across the country. Only time will tell whether we look back and think the Chauvin conviction was a turning point in accountability uh, for uh, criminal uh, actions by officers. It may be a footnote to history and back to business as usual, or it may be a point that uh, from which momentum uh, uh, grows uh, uh, to do things differently. Steffi says it's a very rare case that police officers actually serve prison time if they're charged or even convicted, but this case proves that murder convictions are possible. Now, Judge Cahill did attach a 22-page sentencing order laying out how he came to this decision. Chauvin will get a credit of 190 days already served. Mel, back to you.